what's going on guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're playing shibalanke adc shiba recently got some buffs so he doesn't suck quite as much and i've been having a lot of fun with him man his ultimate is in a really clunky spot at the moment i personally think his ultimate has sucked ever since they took the stun off uh, and honestly probably sucked even before they took the stun off but it definitely is that little extra oh my god everybody's doing it now it's so nice but, uh, but yeah, his, his ultimate really not that great. It's definitely also a team fight ult. It literally doesn't do damage. It does make his autos longer, but that's not, you know, that's Hachi one, you know, that's, that's a single ability. Uh, I am just whiffing stuff right now. We could have had huge damage, but I, I suck. By the way, we're going to level Bolas right away on Shiba, which is kind of weird. Normally we don't want to level a steroid right away, but it's our best wave clear because our two sucks for wave clear. And with Death Toll, we basically don't use mana while we cast it. So it's kind of insane. Oh, you are just eating damage, my man. You are eating a lot of damage. Why did he not hit level two? How many creeps did they did not kill a lot of creeps? He's gonna lose a ton of farm right there. Am I am I wrong? Am I tripping? I feel like he just loses stuff. Yeah, what are the odds of going? I feel like I never see Shibalanke, and we're going against another Shibalanke. One little thing to note: Shiba is a weird god where I think he's pretty good with the new buff. I think his PvP is really really strong. Um, he has some crazy hard counters though. So he's a god that can be incredibly good and incredibly bad depending on who he goes against in jungle slash support normally. I don't think he really has hard counters as ADC. I could be wrong. Um, but when it comes to stuff like, like for example, Fenrir jungle, Shibalanke can knock it out of your three without, you know, just somebody CCing it off like for him, you know? Um, let's try and just zone Wukong here. Yeah, so we don't quite get a kill Shibalanke there, which obviously sucks a little bit, but Wukong misses pretty much the entire wave, which sucks for him, so that's still pretty worth for us. But, but yeah, there are some characters that can just absolutely destroy him, so it's worth keeping that in mind. Oh, that is huge. Terra! Wait, did the two not hit? Because that sucks. Little beads action right there. Nice. We were going to kill him with Bolas too, even if she didn't get that auto off right there. Bolas is so good. When people are 1 HP, Bolas is crazy good for securing kills, man. It's actually kind of wild. But let's go ahead and talk about it. If you guys are curious what got buffed on him, Shibalanke's 2 got buffed so he can hit more darts on the same target. Because before, I want to say it was 3 darts, and now it's 5 darts. Out of 15, yeah, we should be invading. What am I doing? They do have a jungler, by the way. They have Anubis jungle, who I think I just saw somewhere. I could be tripping. So we probably don't have to worry about getting invaded here. Or not getting invaded, but getting, like, counter-invaded. You know, what? Okay. I mean, I guess I could have given it to her, but ours was running out, so I feel like it's still worth if I get it. But, but yeah, they buffed his too, so you can get more of those dart procs, and that's huge. If you guys don't know, he, he does have one of those abilities where basically the bonus darts are reduced damage by a pretty significant amount, but it's an ability that actually, with the new buff especially, hits absurdly hard in a really sleeper way. It's actually a really cool ability, in my opinion, where he does initial damage and then poison damage, and the poison damage ends up being most of the damage, and it's done over three seconds. So when you hit these darts, at first it doesn't hit that hard. <laughs> and, and since Shibalanke barely gets played, a lot of people are thinking, oh, it's not going to be that good, you know? It's not going to be that much damage. You're going to keep fighting because, you know, on her Impale, for example, looks like it does way more at once. And then the Shibalanke too does like 500 damage over three seconds and they realize their mistake, but it's a little too late. So he actually hits crazy hard now with the extra darts. And because it's five out of 15, it is pretty easy to hit those darts. If you just get relatively close to somebody, you're going to be able to hit them really easily. And you just get crazy aggression between the bola damage and the two damage. And you also want a three after the two, and your three does bonus damage after hitting the two, which is really cool as well. So I might not even let... The ultimate sucks, and I've been getting... The little bit I've played him, I've been getting a lot of ghost hits with the ult. I think it's programmed weird, so it changes our autos or something. Obviously, it makes them longer. Don't give me some forehead answer like that. But I feel like it's actually kind of bad. By the way, we're building weird. I'm trying something. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to try not leveling the ult for now and just keep leveling our damage. I'll probably get a level six, so it probably won't even stand out. But our ultimate is so much of just throw it to help the team and hopefully it does something, but you really can't tell ever that that I'd rather just do more damage and see if we can clap this man or, or clap whoever fights us. Yeah, this man's pretty behind. He's going... Destal's kind of a must, but he's going to be going Devo Gloves. We're going to block super hard. Ikeval's not an item that I think is very worth in general at the moment, but because Shiblanke is so good at boxing, we're going to try and see if we can get massive value out of it. Going it before Boots is just kind of coincidence, but I feel like since Devo's Rush is a thing, Ikeval Rush should definitely be a thing, right? So even though we won't be Zoomy, I should absolutely annihilate this man in boxes right now. I also should have invaded his purple right there, but I kind of goofed. Probably just going to run around. Right? 
Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think we got to kill him there. I thought there was a chance his three was down and I didn't hear it. So I thought we'd just commit. Our ultimate sucks enough that it basically doesn't matter too much if we throw it out there. So I thought I'd try. Yeah, look at the damage though. That was actually, that was kind of gross. It gave all value. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with it, but since I never ever build a cave all, at least right now, we can talk about it a little bit. We can peek the stats and why it's actually potentially good and also why it's potentially not good. But it gave all revolves around your auto attacks so that hitting auto attacks will stack up a power buff for you that gets kind of ridiculous. So it doesn't need to be on whoever you're fighting. It can just be anybody. So just hitting creeps will basically give you power. But you get 30 power, 30% attack speed, and then every auto gives you an extra 15 for three stacks, which means we get up to 75 power and 30% attack speed, which is crazy stats. Um, but then we also reduce attack speed by, I think, 10% two times or three times. No, that's also... Excuse you? I have a bead, sir. You're dead. I think. Does the three not... Oh, the three didn't go to him. That sucks, man. I don't play enough Shiba. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Janice, you dick. Um, damn, I thought that was a kill there. Shibalon K3 is a little bit weird, where the dart comes out not immediately. And I don't know, I don't know if it comes out at the second stage, or what. Because you can get some darts that go really far from where you actually dash to. It must just come out at the second stage. Basically, I thought we could perfectly land that so we dashed out and stay alive, and then also kill Wukong with a three, but that didn't quite happen. I also sustained a stupid amount just now. That was actually, like, a dust hole OP, I guess? I didn't think we'd get that much sustain there. See if the guy will fight at all. He probably won't. Oh, he's going Devos already. He doesn't even have boots right now. I think he probably just gets into spooked. But I do also want to greet a little bit for some more money. Oh, you're trying to box me a little bit, huh, bud? Juke the two a little bit right there. God, I'm so overextended, man. I'm so crazy overextended. He's probably just going to back in a sec. There's no way this gets good. Let me ult for the boys and to spook him. Oh, he's maybe not going to back. Okay, we didn't get the two on him. I thought he was pushing. I saw him auto me, so I thought he'd be out of creeps, but he actually stayed in creeps. Whatever. I can't really... He's going to stay super far back. I can't really kill him. Yeah, I can't quite. I have to literally dive, and we don't have enough health to dive. So we'll just leave. It's fine. As far as our leveling order, we're going to go ahead and level the uh, the three next after the two. You can level the bolas. The problem with leveling bolas is the mana cost goes up. I want to say that didn't used to be true once upon a time, but the mana cost is really low to start and gets higher. And a lot of the bullet damage is just the actual basic attack damage you do. It does a portion of your basic attack damage. So um, leveling the base damage on that is decent overall, but it's not super important and it makes them super mana hungry. So we're just going to level the three and up our damage a bit. Leveling the ult basically sucks. I would definitely level it last. Yeah, but, but yeah, let's go ahead and get some more words up in a sec too, but I was going to talk about, what is it? Oh yeah, AK Vol. So AK Vol is a weird item right now. I think as far as I know, Zapman still loves it and Panda Cat hates it. And I'm pretty much in the Panda Cat camp where I feel like it's not worth because it gets less value as you get a little later in the game. I think we just outrun Wukong three here. Is he birding after me? Yeah. I just turn on him. <laughs> I like how his one does a little bit more than a single auto of ours right now. Damn, I wish we had ult any sooner, man. Try and reach maybe one or two of these. We honestly don't. We got we got maybe a bola hit, and that's probably it. <laughs> yeah, we basically did nothing. Man was way too far ahead of me. Excuse you? Oh, that hits. He's actually dead. He's actually dead for it. Janice. Trying to bait a little bit. Oh god. <laughs> trying to bait my Susano is what we're doing. Oh my god. Yeah, that got bad. Oh. Ow. I'm dying. Excuse me, sir. If you could stop, that would be great. Is he gonna try and get cheeky with me? Or is he just gonna stop? He's just gonna stop. Okay. I'm so greedy. I'm actually staying. Why is he staying? His ult's down, right? Is he going to ult me? I have a dash. There's no way I get hit. No, I think he's just going to go farm. I don't, that was so weird. I actually got so spooked by that, man. Uh, we're going to go into Oboe next. I'm trying a... Uh, sorry, I know. I'm, I, there's like multiple topics I want to talk about right now. I'm trying a weird build where we're going to rush basically attack speed super hard. The reason is Shibalanke because he has bolas and because he doesn't have attack speed steroids. 
Uh, he gets a lot of value out of an attack speed build. He also needs Death Toll, and I feel like Death Toll is better with the attack speed build. It pretty much sucks with a crit build for the most part. Um, because it just doesn't scale with crit, really. So, uh, we're trying this crazy attack speed build out to start. And hopefully Death Toll, I, we might build a Lifesteal item eventually. I'm pretty much hoping I can just rely on Death Embrace as we get late game. Let's see, I wanna... I can't see shit. <laughs> I can't see shit, man. Excuse you? You better not. Yeah, we have so little sustain, though. Damn, he actually almost got that, too. Okay, I feel like we might get ganked in a sec, but I have beads three, so I think we're okay. Excuse you, stop. We had ult there, we kill him. We still kill Wukong, though. And we still kill him, because Terra's a gamer. This Terra's actually, she's actually a gamer, man. Oh, I gave, oh, no, 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 I pushed creeps. Oh, is she just fragging? Okay. I thought she was killing herself, because she's sp spooked about going into tower. Better get out. Better get out of here, Janice. Save the girl. Janice, God damn it! I'll put you down. Okay, he actually claps me here. This is a little spooky. Can you? See? I hate him so much, man. He just waits for his dude to come up. I mean, that is how you play Janice, but it's still it's so annoying. Cause I just gotta like obey, you know. Is he gonna get cheeky with me? I kill him if he does. There's no way, right? Okay. Yeah, if he tooed me, he doesn't kill me, and then I just murder him. So, it would have been good. Anyways, um, yeah, we're trying a super attack speed build. Just building, like, Obo. Why is he just straight up ADC right now? Shiba's not AFK, right? He's just taking his farm? Because I'll be sad if he AFK'd. No, he's back. Okay. <laughs> Janice just stayed for so long. But we're trying out a weird attack speed build. I don't know how popular a build like this is right now. I haven't seen one personally, but it's not like I spend a crazy amount of time watching streams or anything. So, wouldn't recommend it. We're basically just going to build a ton of attack speed to get maximum bola value. And then we're going to build silver branch on top of it so that we're not um, not just devaluing the amount of attack speed. We're just going to keep building all the good attack speed items. And then uh, and silver branch will give us even more power on top, which will be pretty decent. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was whether or not Ikeval is good and why. Let me just chuck an ult, man. They're going on Shiba. I don't know if it matters. But it might help them. Give them a little less vision. Hang on, we actually just kill his tower. <laughs> yeah, you're not going this way. But with it gave all late game, the way that it works as an item, it's incredibly good for lane and for boxing ADCs, but just none of the stats really get value late game for the most part. I don't want to commit too hard to it. Yeah, exactly. That's why. <laughs> That's why. Okay, we can turn now. We got his stuff temporarily. Oh, Janice, goof for me. I think Anubis goofed for me. This is the real one. Damn, I should have beads that. I don't know if we kill or not. There we go. There we go. Good stuff, boys. Thank you. I'm assuming we're not dead. What is the accent, by the way? And the uh, the punk duck voice pack. <laughs> I don't know. Is that like, I feel like it's almost a Bronx. I don't know. Where is it coming from? What region is this? Is it, like, some reference I don't understand? Have I not watched enough Punk Duck videos? Anyways. That aside, yes. Um, AK Ball doesn't really translate late game super well compared to a lot of stuff. Items like Oboe, Devo Gloves, so many of the ADC items you see are incredibly strong late game because they just keep scaling up off other items, whereas AK Ball is really its own thing that is inherently good on its own and then gets weaker as the game goes on. So it's kind of a clunky item to build for that reason, and that's why a lot of the ADCs aren't building it. But Zatman, who loves to be super aggressive in lane, is loving it because it gives you a lot of lane aggression. Like, there's pretty much no doubt. I don't think you could ever say that it cave all is not just like the best lane item, generally speaking, because you're literally giving yourself insane stats on a relatively cheap item. It's you're almost always going to have the 75 power th or, or uh, yeah, 75 power, 30 percent attack speed. And when you're boxing, you're taking away another 30%, which is almost like having 75 power, 60% attack speed, which obviously would be really, really broken. That'd be, that'd be like a starter item upgrade. So, so yeah, it's pretty good. But it's not going to be quite a sick late game. But who knows, with a build like this, it might still, might still be pretty nutty. Let me just take all your stuff, Shiba. I forgot we didn't use our beads in that last fight, so I can actually play pretty aggressive and not worry about ganks as much. 
Yeah, this game feels like such a stomp. It's really not. It's 12 to 9. We're just like, just destroying them over here in duo, though. Alright, is there a red buff for me? No. Excuse me? Oh, it just, what? Is this a little one? Is it big? Okay. So I don't know. I don't know what happened to you. Who did this red buff and why did you do it this way? You better not push up to creep, Shiba. He didn't. Damn, I want to kill him, man. He went mid. What a dick. We're going to ult for him just in case they need it. I don't know if that helped or not. They might have gotten spooked. It actually might have been good. They also might not have fought that serious. I don't know. By the way, we're not getting death stole procs in the tower, so I'm, my man is just melting. It's going down so fast. I don't think that was stupid. I, I'm 99% sure. It's one of those things that always confuses me. I'm 99% sure that Bola procs on tower and you get bonus damage, but... But then I think about it and I'm like, wait, does it though? But I'm 99% sure it does because it's one of those things where I'll be like, I can't remember and then I check and it does. I know, cool story. Um, let's go ahead and get a little kin size done. Build into Xy next. Yeah, we're already, <laughs> we're already at the attack speed cap pretty much. I have upgraded purple. With upgraded purple, we are 0 0.06 away. And then I'm also planning to build Xy. And, oh, uh-oh. I might have goofed. <laughs> I was planning to build Xy in Silver Branch, but that's like a full, complete, finished item build. Which could be bad. Is it fine? It's probably fine. We're not going to overcap that much. And especially if we don't have purple, we won't. So I guess we'll build Xy and then late game. Damn, I'm surprised. I thought we would have more attack speed than this. Don't worry, if Xy's just going to put us a tiny bit, Silver Branch isn't going to be that good. Yeah, we'll, we'll get Silver Branch last item if we get Speed Pot done and stuff, I guess. But I don't think it'll do all that much for us. See if we can fight Shibalanke. We took both his towers. So he doesn't have as much of an escape route right now. And I think his ult might still be down. No. No. Dead. Be dead. Bola. <laughs> I've been waiting for that, man. I have played, God, I don't know, four or five games with him over the past week or two. And I think that's the first time I finally got to do the Bola off a tower for a kill, man. There have been so many that have come close. There have been ones where I'll hit the Bola, but it doesn't quite kill, and I'm sad. That one, we actually get the kill. That was so satisfying. Yeah, by the way, obviously pro tip. If they're almost dead, bola off the tower. It's a thing. It's pretty good. I wonder if we can solo Gold Fury with like absolutely nothing up. Or absolutely no life seal, I mean. Probably not. It's probably dumb. I think if we get Death Embrace, maybe. Oh, Janus. Hang on. Oh, there's also a Wukong, though. This might be dumb. I was going to just go get his purple buff. But there's kind of boys around, and I'm getting a little greedy. I think he's zooming at our red buff. Wukong, you better stop it. Oh my god, I am melting the man. He's actually just dead. <laughs> what? 300, 287. Oh my, oh my god, I did him so dirty. I guess he's also level 12, though. He's crazy behind. But Jesus Christ, that damage, man. It came all feeling pretty good when we're just bullying in lane, when we're just going for lane aggression. It's actually wild. I think there are a lot of characters I wouldn't care enough about building it on, but Shibalanke is obviously super auto attack focused. You know, it's not like on her where we can actually just solo somebody with our abilities. We 100% need to rely a lot on autos. And it feels really good, man. All right, let's see if his purple's still up. Let's see if we can yoink it real quick. Oh, they want to do FG. Okay, he got the buff. He's over there, but I don't think we kill him. He's pretty far back. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go for it. Let's dip. Let's work on Xy. All right, we should just be able to go for fire. Honestly, it should be pretty easy. That's my boy right there. He can frag anyone. I'm coming, boys. Papa's coming. Uh oh, uh oh, I think Fire Giant might have just gone down the drain. Here, I don't think this helps, but it might help a little bit. I <laughs> like how I swear every time I ult, this Shibalanke just ults. Like he doesn't look at the map, but I do look at the map, and then he's like, "Oh, this guy's ulting. It's probably a good time to ult too," which might be five head, honestly. But, but it's just funny, man. It's like he's stealing my strats. Chanis, you need to portal somewhere, man. You need to have a portal somewhere. What the? I'm not even going to beads this. I'm not even going to acknowledge that with, with a beads. You greedy man. I don't know why he went for that. Hang on. I want to I wanna heal a bit. 
There we go. Eh. We actually might get a fire now, since we just kind of murdered their team right there. She killed Zhang, and we killed Janice and Wukong. No, 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 no back it. Uh-oh. It's fine. I'll do it on my own. I got actives up. We're chilling. Oh, we want to do this first? That's fine. Played a little safer. So, Death's Embrace, man. One thing worth noting, I talked about in the Donsboro video, I think Death's Embrace not nearly as good as Leather Cal, generally speaking. But, like, right now we can kind of take a peek at it. On Pyro, we were doing, like, 43 healing an auto. Whereas if we have Leather Cal and Crit... Which, given that's crit, crit's a really greedy build, that's something you normally want to build from ahead versus squishy your team. But if we have Leather Cal and Crit, we're actually matching that just with the lifesteal, plus we're getting 45% attack speed. And basically the same amount of power, it's actually crazy. So, I think Death's Embrace, which used to be an insane healing item, right now is just a mediocre healing item. And, hypothetically, you can get way more value out of Cal, and that's just kind of like a little sample right there. But it also depends, because with a build like this, we're not going to get quite as much value. Lifesteal-wise, healing-wise, we're not going to get as much value out of Cal. You actually get the back off there? Damn. Yeah, do we get Bulloproc? 202? Yeah, we do. I'm not crazy. The way it procs is weird, though. I feel like it should be, you know, like normally you see a little extra side number, and it just straight up does more. Which I think is why I feel a little crazy. Is that a speed buff? No. Why? <laughs> I swear I saw one. Oh, fine. I actually want to back and get XC, but it's probably stupid right now since we got fire and we're pushing. I just want to hit even harder, you know? I can do that too, bud. That's a little rude. Okay, this should be a good push. I think we just ult this off so they have a... Yeah, they just get scared. <laughs> we just get, like, free Phoenix because they're scared of the ult. <laughs> oh, my God. Actually, strats, man. Yeah, that's what's funny about Shiblanke ult, is your ult is such a support style ultimate. It feels so weird on him. Oh my god, I did not do much to him. Okay, we got a bunch of their stuff down. Let's murder everybody. Hopefully we kill Janice in time. Oh my <laughs> We got him with the Ovo. The Ovo Bola. Stop it. Stop killing me. We actually did go Mobus mode. That was sick. I want to know, was that both? Can I tell? Hit Shibalanke. I already hit autos on him, so I can't tell. Damn it, man. I wanted to know. I think that was just an oboe proc. But oh my god, was it a juicy oboe proc. If you guys ever wonder why oboe is so broken, those numbers right there are a pretty good sample. We got a single tick of the passive on Janus, and we hit him for a 171 after mitigation. Just a single tick. It can, it can hit you multiple times, too. And obviously, you can just keep throwing it throughout the fight. That's so gross. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. That was a pretty fun game. Um, Build-wise, I actually think that was a sick build. If you guys want to go aggressive in lane and you're building somebody that's super auto-attack focused, I think that was actually really, really fun and worked really, really well. I think I'll probably try it on, like, if I was playing Rama, obviously Shibalanke. The more auto-attack focused character is probably Izanami, where you're getting a lot of attacks off and a lot of your damage comes from it. I think it's actually really good if you want to be aggressive and dominant in lane. Because uh, poor, <laughs> poor other Shibalanke didn't really stand... Too much of a chance right there. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.